I cut the grass, it always makes it grow. How comes I can only grow long hair from my nose? How comes I always cook far too much spaghetti? Why is no clever scientist ever interviewed a Yeti? How comes retail prices always end in 99? And how comes my computer yeah, work? Okay, welcome back, lovely people. This is prize draw number 16. The result, sweet 16, babies. First of all, by explanation, the horseshoe. Tell yes. me about the horseshoe. What happened, Penny? Like, I don't always ride along with a horseshoe in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> like a lucky talisman, <laughs> so it won't kill us. <laughs> and we were riding on were we? And we rode over it, didn't we? We did. I didn't, I edited it out. It was in the last video, but I decided to edit it out because it kind of wasn't something, you couldn't see it. Uh, I rode over it, there's a big clank under the frame and I thought I'd got a puncture or something, so we dropped it. Found it was a big old horseshoe, so we just we thought it must be lucky, so we put got it me lucky. So we nailed it on the wall, and the next time I build a rat bike, I'll weld it onto the frame so that I can't ride over it again. Did you say rat bike? <laughs> I did. Rat bike <laughs> coming soon to the channel near you. Okay, now prize draw number sixteen. This was one that was very different, very very different response, wasn't it? Not the usual response. We much much less in the way of interest. I think perhaps many of you are not that interested in a ground anchor. I don't know, but honestly, they are a very sensible piece of kit aren't they you can lock your bike all you like but you can't necessarily stop it being carried away because they can still pick it up and carry it off especially if it's a lightweight bike like a scooter or something so that's important but i think we did all that didn't we we did um, this particular ground anchor is very clever the lock the pin locks through straight through the center of it uh, and makes it almost like a padlock itself and you can then put two chain links you see these chains you get where you get one big ring link you can put the chain through it so you make it a noose sort of thing and then you, you just have one link going and you can padlock, literally you can hook that straight to that and it's padlocked to the wall. So you put it on the wall of your house or on the back of, uh, on the, uh, the, the floor of your garage or as someone said, which I thought was quite clever, you could bolt that to the floor of your van. Yes, you If can. you take a, a bike, like a motocross bike or something like that to shows or to motocross events or anything like that, what's wrong with actually chaining it to the floor of the van? So that is useful, it's portable until you bolted it down. Now that was the other thing, wasn't it? Yes. We did get a few, a few very logical, meaningful ones of you out there saying, well, what's to stop someone just undoing the <laughs> Allen bolts? Correct. Well, oh no, I never thought of that. So <laughs> obviously an age old thing, which, um, I'll show you in close up. It's it. You get with the kit. You get four ball bearings, uh, hard steel ball bearings, and they just go in the head of the Allen bolt or Allen screw when you're finished bolting it down, and you hammer them in. You take a hammer and you hammer those ball bearings in. Now they'll stay proud. They'll wedge in there forever. You'll never get them out. You won't chisel them out. I've tried this. It doesn't work. You can grind them flat, but they're rock hard, and you then still won't get anything in there to undo them. So believe me, by the time you've messed about trying to get past those ball bearings, you could have just cut through the lock or cut through the chain or you've been apprehended by the owner by then and you're probably having a bad day. <laughs> so either way, that's how you stop them getting unscrewed. The ball bearings go in the head. It's an old thing that goes back forever. And I saw that first time I saw the ball bearings being put into an Allen screw was on a safe in a motorcycle shop I worked in. That's how they stopped the safe getting unbolted from the wall. They just hammered big ball bearings in the end. Honestly, you couldn't get them out, so that's that. Right, prize draw, Penny Pistol. Oh, one you lucky winner is going to win it. One lucky winner going to send this heavy thing around the world, so try and pick someone about three miles away. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Honestly, okay. wherever you are, wherever you are in the world, we will send this to you if you are the winner. So would you like to pick one, Penny Pistol? Yes. Shake them up. Now, I've got all the answers in here. What I did we actually have? How many were there? I had 260 correct entries. 260. That's and the answer was, you haven't said it yet. A thousand pound. Yes, indeed, a bag of sand. The answer to how much was this bike was a thousand pound. And the answer will be found in the second video. If you go right back to video two of the series, and we're on what, 70 now or something? I can't remember, something about 70 something. So it was a long, long time ago, but I did say that this, the donor bike for this cost 1,000 pounds. That's what I paid the initial bike. Spent about three times on it since. But that was always, it was originally thousand pounds. That was the answer. And it was only a few got it wrong, wasn't it? Yeah, only handful, yeah. Only handful, but we normally get in four or five hundred entries and we only got half that this time. So come on, step up, folks. This yeah. is free stuff. What's wrong with you? You've got to do a bit of work. Yeah, you've got to be in it to win it. You know, you can take a guess. It don't hurt, does it? It's always a, usually a straight answer. Anyway, let's, right, get, all waiting. let's get a winner. Are we ready? Right, take gonna, us a winner, Penny. I'm going to pick you a winner. Who we got? 
Shall I read that one out? There we go. And the winner is Dave Lightfoot from Red Car in Cleveland. Hey, Let's well show done, Dave. to the camera for Adili Kishon. There we go. There we are. Dave Lightfoot, Red Car Cleveland. There we are. Well done, Dave. Well Congratulations, done. my friend. You are the lucky winner. We will get this off to you. Well, you're going to do an email, aren't you? Yes, I'll do an email. We'll email you, Dave, and we'll get your exact address, and we'll get this off to you in the post presently. Thank you so much for entering. That's fantastic, wasn't oh, it? Oh, great. Thank you. Okay, Have thanks ever so much, Dave. And thanks for all the entries. That Honestly, this is going to get better and better. What we're going to try and do with this series, on every month, we do two prize draws. We're going to do the security stuff, one of the two videos, and then the other prize draw will be tools. So the next week, we're going to bring you some tools, which will be completely different to this, but this security prize draw series as it rolls down to Christmas it will get better and better and the value of what we're giving away will get greater and greater as we go along to a big bumper prize at Christmas. That's uh, right. We've got to say as well mm -hmm. that thank you to Celie for this. Celie have sent us these locks and said that they are for prize draws you can give those away so thank you so much to them. Honestly remember if you support our sponsors it keeps us in the garage it makes sure that we can do this kind of thing for you and the project and all the other stuff coming up this weekend well, next weekend we've got more work on the fire build. I've ordered some steel. I'm building the under tray this week. That's going to be quite spectacular. The under tray. It's going to be a French light, uh, an internal curve in it, lots and lots of steel fabrication because I want to get my hands back on that. I'm not finished with that. That that bug is not itched yet. I absolutely love steel fabrication. So loads more to come. And you help us with that by supporting the sponsors that support us. That's what it's all about, isn't it? It is. Here we are. Thank it's you, Sue. Thank you to you. Anything else, Ben? That's it. Thank Here you. we are. Take us your ride safe. I don't know, I don't know, don't ask me mate, I don't know. I don't know, I haven't got a clue mate, I don't know, ask someone else. I just haven't got a clue.